My name is Lynette Oxley. I am the founding member for Gosa Girls and Fire as well as the current CEO. I've been involved in firearms for over 15 years and I'm very passionate about empowering women. In 2015, when the organization started, a journalist said in Parliament that it's only old white men that, that's interested in firearms that night uh, Ghost of Girls and Fire were born. That same year, we coupled our initiative with the United Nations 16 days of activism against uh, GBV. We changed it to 16 days of action. History shows us that women are not merely victims. We don't need to be victims. Uh, so Girls on Fire believe that we need to empower women. We have grown from strength to strength and the program has changed many, many women's lives. And we hope to do so in the future. Girls are Girls on Fire believes actively getting women involved in firearms and firearm related activities means more than just the physical ability for them to defend themselves against this onslaught of violence against women. It changes their perception about how to interact with the world around them. It gives them the confidence and a changed mental attitude to make better and safer decisions around their bodily integrity and safety. It gives them courage not to be victims. Hi, my name is Antoinette Gordon and I am a director and CFO for Ghosts of Girls on Fire. Girls on Fire do not see women as victims. We are invested in educating, upskilling and equipping women mentally and emotionally to not view themselves as powerless and to be able to protect themselves. We promote responsible firearm ownership by introducing women to firearms through training and other fun activities and we run developmental programs to empower women to grow within the firearms field by educating them as range officers. We are establishing counsellors and other support networks for women empowerment as well as information networks to assist women that have been exposed to domestic abuse and to assist them to change their circumstances.
I am going to speak on behalf of multiple young ladies and women that have come today to join us. It is truly empowering to have that feel as a woman, to have that satisfaction. It is just wonderful. Which, which guns did you enjoy the most? Oh, uh, my Glocks. Those did are my you enjoy babies. The yes, I love the Glocks and the handguns. I mean, it's just empowering. And the rifles? The rifles? Oh, where do I even begin? <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, uh, you haven't done the shotguns? Not yet. So you're going to do the hooglies now? I hope you're going to have fun. Lots of fun. We got this. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope to see you on the next event. Thank you, Lynette. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> it's nice to have a whole family that can do this stuff together. At least now we can say we understand what she's been doing. We understand the aim behind everything. And I think that's the way to go. Absolutely. Mm. And do you think uh, it makes women stronger, hey? We're yes. all strong ladies. Yes, we are all strong ladies. I think um, to be strong is to believe in what you're doing and going out there to make a difference. Absolutely. Mm. And your daughter does make a difference. So yeah. fantastic. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Carver. Okay. Is this your first shoot today? <laughs> yes, it is my first shoot. Are you enjoying it? I'm loving it, yes. Is the, has the buck bitten, bitten yet? Oh, it has, it has. <laughs> But which, it's, it's which, which of the guns did you enjoy the most? Uh, the pistol. The pistol? Yeah. And do you think you're going to do some sport shooting in the future? 100% is going to be my new hobby. That's fantastic. <laughs>
today I'm here with Ntavi. Uh, welcome and uh, welcome back. Thanks, Lynette. Thank you. Ntavi Singh has been our previous recipient of our uh, Fighting Spirit Award, and she is definitely a lady that's got the spirit to fight for herself. She came back this year uh, and she was on the 50 cal range the whole day. Please talk about your journey and your experience today. What, how did you find today? It's being been, on the other side. <laughs> I think it started off intimidating at first when I, you know, when I was on the other side when I started. Uh, but with frequenting and coming through often and getting the encouragement, that's helped me build up the confidence that I needed to actually continue. And I'm actually finding it very thrilling at this point. So I see myself coming back over and over and over and over again. I'm here with Kia. Uh, we have spoken before. Yes, She's one of our recipients for our Fighting Spirit Award. Kia, your experience with guns and your experience what's happened today. Uh, do you think that guns are empowering and where did your thoughts come from? Um, to be honest with you, growing up in Soweto, you are surrounded by guns and every time you think of a gun, you're associated with criminals. I mean, I've seen someone actually get shot in front of me, so I've always had a huge fear of guns. Um, and today was um, an empowering experience, to be honest with you. I saw a different side of, um, of guns, you could say. Especially with the society we live in now um, and the need to protect yourself due to the amount of crime that we're experiencing as a country. Um, I found, like I said, a very different side to guns. Um, today for me was very empowering, like I said. Um, I would encourage more women to actually try and attend such um, events for themselves, you know, to empower themselves. Um, yeah, it was a great experience. Would I do it again? Definitely. Um, okay, next time you'll shoot, shoot the event. Definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'd love to. Um, today just watching, you know, empowered me just from watching. So you can imagine next time being able to participate, what that would do for me. I think it would give me another level of confidence. But Winnie, not her real name, has experienced far worse than I have. And she's decided to get one. I got attacked through my bedroom window. Uh, it was one of my neighbors that actually jumped in through the windows and raped me at gunpoint. It made me kind of question, what can I do differently? What can I do to protect myself? So there's so much that I feel like I could have stopped had I been a legal owner of a gun. I don't think I would have killed anybody, but I think I would have disabled them from hurting me further than they did. So I feel like with a gun, I'll, I'll be safe. But a new proposed law would mean Winnie would not be granted a firearm license for self-defense reasons. The law has triggered a backlash. strong you will not keep me down you can't break me go on fine i'm not a victim and go on fine i'll stand my ground go on fine i have a choice i stand proud and go on fine I'm 
on range at the moment, and we're actually all for outdoor guns and ammunition. And uh, what are we doing here? Well, the it is stored, how it is stored, including going through uh, lessons in terms of how to shoot, how to use it. So, I mean, it's a very current, it's a very, very comprehensive, intensive process, which is a good process because people understand that it is a weapon that it can cause untold harm. So, it's it's responsible, and, I, and I'm happy we have this process here. But now, um, as you've mentioned, uh, they are illegal fire. I mean, every robbery, there's a firearm here. And uh, most of the times, people are charged for... Uh, in, in I'm a mother, a daughter, a sister, a friend. I'm every woman. I have taken up arms and I choose to defend all that I hold dear. Independent and strong, you will not keep me down. My name is Lynette Oxley. I am a girl on fire. I'm Antoinette Gordon. I am a girl on fire. I am Tippi Mekwa. I am a girl on fire. Support Gosa Goals on Fire.